there guys what's up welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel you already know what it is so in this video um, i'm gonna be talking about a little topic that's a little serious um so basically i'm banned from a nail salon crazy right so crazy so was i aware of this no because i don't even be going in this salon okay the only time i go into this salon is once a year for my lips okay once a year for my lips that's a, that's about it. That's how much I'd probably go into the salon. Um, cause they do lip injections and they do nails. I love the lips, like love the lip girl. She's great. Fantastic. No issues with her. I don't just have issues with everybody just to have issues with people. Like there's a reason. So I'm not going to be naming this nail salon and I'm not going to get into a full depth, um, reason. Like I'm not going to do a full video this video um it is yet to be determined if i am gonna do an actual video on this because i messaged the person and i was like am i banned from this and she's like um i don't know what really happened this and that between you guys like the owner of the salon so she was like come in basically and we can talk about this so i'm going to eventually go in and talk to her in person about it um, so to know if I'm actually going to do a video on this, well, like a serious video, like a serious video, like telling some, telling a different story, because th there is a story to be told, but <laughs> we'll see if I have to tell that or not. But I don't need, like, do I need my lips done anytime soon? No, they're, they're good. They're plump. They're full. Like, I'm not even going to be needing to go back for more than a year. So for me, finding out I was banned was actually hilarious because I would have never have known. I wouldn't have known I was banned because that's how much I go in there. So actually, my friend tried to go in there. Like she she tried to book online, how you normally book, and it kept declining her. And she was like, what? What's wrong with the thing? And eventually they had to message her and be like, you're banned. You and your friend are banned. And we're like, what? So apparently it's like from an old video like an old video, I guess she said something about something in there, but I'm not going to talk about that situation um, yet, like the thing that she talked about, but she basically said an experience that she had there, like an experience that she had, and like, I'm not going to go deep into that, like until I find out like what's going on here, which is so interesting to me, because wouldn't you want like, I don't know, I don't know, but it's just funny because me and her like do salon rating videos, like nail salon videos, so it's just funny that you would ban someone that does reviews like there it's like what's going on there that can't be reviewed like you know what i mean i give my honest opinion i don't just make stuff up like you know what i mean i'm not just making stuff up out of thin air okay like that's not how it is and i will come with like i do have receipts on this thing that she was mentioning but i'm not gonna get into that that's a very serious topic like a medical issue so i'm not gonna get into it well we'll yet to see so you know basically like i didn't even talk about the salon like, it was not like a big thing i've never tried to trash the salon never tried to just come for it to come for it we literally went there for a service like if we hated it that much we wouldn't even step inside there even for a service right so weird but let me just tell you this little experience that i had i just wanted to share this because this is why I don't particular love that salon. Like, because I just feel like they have, like, a mean girl, a mean girl, like, vibe in there. And that's coming from me. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you walk in. And I've just never had this experience at a salon before. You know what I mean? Usually, a salon is, like, a good time, fun time, you know. So, whatever. I never spoke about this. So I was never going to speak about this. But now I'm feeling like I need to tell some stories now. Like, I need to tell my like my experience you know what I mean so basically we get in there to get our lips done okay no one acknowledges us everyone's like they're doing their nails whatever fine we waited we walked in um and then we basically had to say something because no one was helping us we're like okay we're here to like get our lips done and they're like okay like you know oh that's with her uh she should be out in a sec that's fine whatever we sat on the couch we waited she came got us great no issues she was lovely. She was great in there. She even said, um, we were so nice. Like, I don't know what the problem is. She literally said that we were great. Um, like 
we just made a comment like we probably wouldn't go to the nail part of the salon if you want to go there that's fine we wouldn't tell someone not to go there like if you want to go there i'm sure they do great nails go like we never said anything so after we got our nail our lips done she wanted to buy a lotion there that's fine um we left our shoes at the front door so while she was buying or let me tell you okay she wanted to buy a lotion i forgot about this she wanted to buy a lotion they were doing the nails whatever literally took more than 10 minutes i believe it was like 15 for them to even like like we're like okay we're, we're just trying to buy something and then like they really they didn't even acknowledge us like ask us if we need help we're literally waiting there to pay for this damn lotion um like i don't know i've just never usually like they'll get up and ring because the nails take like two hours one to two hours to do like you can't ring out a lotion that we want to buy like i don't know weird to me weird like you're gonna lose a sale like okay <laughs> like nails take a long time it's not like something like super quick that you're gonna be able to just finish and then ring out a lotion like it's not how it works so they basically make us wait for like 15 minutes like it was like 10 to it was super long like way longer than it should have been like 10 to 15 minutes she gets up we think that she's gonna ring out the lotion for us so she, we're like okay thank you and she's like oh actually can you step to the side my customer needs to pay okay like okay i, I guess you're done now you can she can pay but it was really rude about it like she was like oh sorry like this and that she was, like they like are bitchy in there like let me tell you i would be honest they're bitchy in there so that's fine didn't say anything like even that was okay like we get it like we gotta wait for a service to be finished whatever they were here first pay great so now i guess she was getting someone else to ring her lotion i don't even remember yeah she had to get somebody else to ring her lotion in because i guess she couldn't whatever that's fine so the girl finally rings out the lotion but they took so long you guys i wanted to put on my shoes because i had these big i had these big heels i had these boots that like you know aren't the easiest to get on so i wanted to get them on so that we can leave quick like my shoes would take longer than hers i think hers would just slip ons or whatever whatever the case may be so i go there's okay let's picture this so the front desk is here the opening where you put your shoes is right here and then like the outside is here okay like this is where her car is this is where you walk in shoe rack this is the place where you pay okay right there so she's paying for her lotion i step outside like one door over put my shoes on and like you know it says take off your shoes blah blah, blah. we we took them off we put it in there okay there's a sign like take off your shoes when going inside the salon okay we get it take off your shoes that's fine we took off our shoes okay so there's a mat right here a mat okay a mat inside so i put on my shoes and then while she's paying like i just walk back in because they're taking so long and i'm standing on the mat and right away like not even like <laughs> two seconds the lady's like are those your outdoor shoes like rudely like are those your outdoor shoes i mean you saw me just put them on right like i didn't you know i didn't bring indoor shoes here right they're outdoor shoes obviously i'm like yeah and she's like oh we actually don't allow outdoor shoes like anywhere in here like i'm literally standing on a mat <laughs> like you know what i mean like super rude like literally because like you guys took so long to bring out this lotion i wanted to put on my shoes just so we could go we're leaving the salon okay it'd be different if we're coming in we're gonna walk throughout the salon okay i'm standing on a mat how does that make any sense? Like, it really had to go out of your way to be rude. You know what I mean? That's the type of, like, never have I experienced that at a salon, okay? Was I going to make a big deal about it? No. I just walked, I was like, okay, and I walked back out. Like, you know, obviously I was annoyed because that was so rude, like, for what? Uh, like, I'm literally on a mat, but did I argue? Did I say, oh, I'm standing on a mat? Like, some people would literally argue with you and be like, I'm on a mat. We're literally leaving. Like, you know what I mean? She was paying for her lotion, y'all. It would have took like two minutes. I was already standing on the mat. Like, it's a mat. My shoes aren't like dirty. It's like, but we're on a mat. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm already standing on it. So you couldn't have just waited the two minutes for her to finish the interaction so that we could leave. Like, it's just like that. That's the rudeness vibe that I get there. And that's personally why I wouldn't want to like go 
to like that service but that's not even it because the experience she had was like actually like a serious experience but like that's what i'm just saying like stuff like that and like literally no i'm not i'm not even gonna say that in this video i'm not gonna say in this video because it's too good like there's some things that are too good so this was nothing compared to what <laughs> this next video would be okay but i just want to like maybe it's a misunderstanding because like i'm not trying to come for this one like you know it's cute in there it's nice like you know the maybe getting a pedicure would be nice like i don't know i've never really i don't know like maybe it was just a bad like maybe she's having a bad day i don't know what the circumstances are i don't know i wasn't gonna say anything about it i didn't say anything about it in that video that's it you know so if you're gonna ban me from the salon it may as well just go Oh, like you know like if you're gonna ban me let's let's be banned for real like you know what I mean like let's give me a reason to be banned because as of right now I don't really think there's a reason for me to be banned because it's like I didn't even say anything yet <laughs> like if you think I said something I didn't even say anything yet like what like weird okay just weird but like am I trying to come for their business no like nothing I said was actually serious like there's nothing serious that was said so i don't know that was just a weird vibe experience that i had there like you know what i mean because it's like i'm literally leaving like she's literally paying and she, it was taking so long i wanted to put my shoes on okay like i don't know just that was weird to me so then to find out i was banned after that i was just like what that's crazy because i would have never found that out like i probably would have found that out last year and been like what and like and they didn't even tell me like they didn't message me or anything i had to find out through her because she tried to go there crazy right so we're gonna see how that goes um i am gonna talk to them in person but it's just like i don't have to go there for any reason i'm not gonna go there just to talk like i don't know super weird if you ask me but yeah anyway that's my experience there um stay tuned there might be a part two might not be we'll have to see we'll have to see because in my eyes it's not that serious like it could she could have honestly had a bad day i'm not gonna freak out over that experience it's not that big of a deal i just thought it was weird i thought it was just like experience that didn't have to happen and you kind of want to have the best customer service like at a salon but i mean each to their own so that's all i gotta say for that and I'll see you in the next one. You already know. Subscribe. So that you don't miss out.